Well here she is, this was my original little glider RC conversion. Very heavy, big chunky motor on the front here, carbon along here which has given a lot of tail weight, carbon across here and because of this great big chunky motor on the nose, pretty ugly because I had to mount 1300 3S on the top here. I must say this was the first and it was pretty scruffy. My techniques improved a great deal since this one. I moved on to build a twin which flew absolutely beautifully. A twin boom and a biplane which was the trickiest of all but eventually after a few mods here and there flew absolutely beautifully as well. A Vulcan although let's face it this is really only a, a little fuselage another EDF version. This is in fact just a little glider with an EDF mounted on the top. Flew absolutely beautifully although could, probably could have done with a, a larger EDF. And then finally what I like to call my little Spitfire because I gave it rounded wing ends, much smaller motor because it's much lighter, even took off on the ground nicely with this little undercarriage. Bill Blogs and the Maidens are all on my channel if you're interested in trying to put one of these together. But getting back to my original one, and Bill Blog now has actually 52,000 views, I decided it needs a bit of a makeover. So my plan is, still want to keep this big motor and keep it as a fairly fast little conversion. What I've decided to do is, I'm going to cut the nose down so that the motor can be about, shall we say, here. And then I'm hoping that instead of putting a big chunky battery like that, I can put a smaller battery like this 800 3S, further down and and motor further back means it's going to make it much easier to get the center of gravity right. So the next time you see this I will be in the process of hacking this off and hot gluing this section back on. Might need a bit of reinforcement. So let's see how we get on with that. Incidentally they're back in the shops again next week so who knows. I vowed that after making nine, eight or nine, that I wouldn't do any more but how can I resist? Plus I've also built three little minis, the single motor, the four motor and the twin. So let's see how I get on with this idea. Back in a bit. Right well here we go. Where's my glue gun? Oh, it's still going to look okay I think. It's still going to look quite in proportion. Yeah okay just have the problem now of gluing this back on. Right back in a while. Well that went on quite well considering that taper was a bit different. Managed to squeeze it in so that it actually fits okay and and as you can see I've taken out that much which is quite a lot and now even with this little battery poked about here bouncing about here so if I can put the receiver here speed controller here I reckon I'm gonna get that to balance okay. A vast improvement on not having this great chunk of battery stuck on the top and then I'm going to do something about tidying that up. So yeah I think this is going to work. Back in a bit. Right then so here we are a successful makeover I'd say. Even managed to remodel the the hatch, took out a lump from that, tidied the top of this up and it balances really nicely where the centre of gravity should be about here. Tidied up a few other things couple of things to mention while I'm talking about this update. When I first started building this, this was 2019, first ever build, I thought it was a good idea to reinforce the ailerons with this kind of tape you've no doubt seen. Very strong, very sticky. As I've discovered after a couple of years it loses its adhesive properties like this and basically if you look at this model here which is also one of my early ones it becomes completely useless. So I've gone through all my builds where I've used this stuff and replaced this useless stuff with Scotch Crystal Tape which lasts for years and years and does the job. So top tip there, don't use this stuff to reinforce your ailerons. Anyway getting back to this one, couldn't really do much about the scruffiness of these on the top but they do the job but as you can see I've, re I've replaced the rubbish tape on the tail here as well with scotch crystal. Also tidied up if you remember what it looked like last time I just had the wires sellotaped along the side here 
I've actually put that in a groove there so that looks tidier. All in all, much tidier. Receiver's in there. Speed controller under here so that you can get some ventilation. That's just a couple of blobs of hot glue there to hold that. And, oh, question is, where is the battery? Must be there somewhere. Ah, oh, if we look here, we've got a little pin holding that. And we've got a hatch here. And inside here is fitting beautifully the 800 3S because I managed to cut a nice slot here and this fits in beautifully now just where I wanted it it will also take a 2S 1000 milliamp battery which is probably a better choice for this very large prop because to be honest with a 3S this battery is struggling a bit with that motor so this goes in nicely as well better choice and still pushing loads and loads of air but all the same as a makeover I'm very well pleased with that I think it's worked out well as far as the construction of the canopy goes is copper wire like that hot glued around a piece of card with some of that rubbish tape on the top but I've put crystal tape on the top so hopefully that'll last for a while so that just with these little pins here sits like that and to stop any chance of the airflow taking it off like I say I've made a little pin here with copper that just goes in there and stops the front end lifting up so I'm well pleased with that as a makeover let's see if I get a chance I'm gonna stick the maiden on with it this big prop which is incidentally a 7x5E and this motor put details on the screen push one hell of a lot of air so that is going to go like hell um, and as you can see obviously no dihedral aerons are very big so should have kind of aerobatic possibilities should certainly turn very well with these great big long ailerons so that's it kept me busy for a couple of days so that was my little makeover hope you found it useful or interesting don't forget the tip about not using this rubbish tape um, and don't forget to check out some of the other videos on my channel like all of those build blogs for the biplane the vulcans the twins they're, they're all on there but that's it for now fly safe and like i say with a bit of luck the maiden will follow in my next video catch you all later bye for now